For mobility hubs, um, there's so many different components. There's the different modes of transportation, and then there's also a lot of technology involved in it. The plans for the Pepper Canyon Station, which were developed way back in 2003, need to be updated to meet all these present and future mobility technologies. So we really needed a multidisciplinary approach, and the design lab was the perfect fit with you know, their multidisciplinary background and the human-centered design approach. We have four strategic tenants, and they permeate all that we do. People are at the center, and they stay at the center from beginning to end. We are really focused at solving the right problems or, or answering the right questions. We really think about everything as a system, and that leads into consistent iteration, testing, iteration, testing, iteration. You're always getting feedback to get better because people are always changing. So the value of design in the Pepper Canyon Mobility Hub Initiative provides uh, a voice to a lot of seemingly disparate parts of the system. And that really comes through our people-centered approach. The first step we took was we made a stakeholder map of all the people we know that are working in the transportation space and the mobility space. From that initial mapping, we were able to create a steering committee that represented 14 departments and entities on campus, along with SANDAG, that allowed us to really think through how we were going to proceed. I think the first thing we had to do was figure out um, how students could have the most powerful impact. What we ended up settling on was something similar in some ways to a computer science hackathon, like a concentrated design competition, thinking space for students, uh, and the design lab really agreed with that concept. After that, we had to figure out how we could get students of many different disciplines involved with the project and give them the space to be a part of it um, and a part of the planning process as well. An additional dimension we took into account was time. So looking at not just the now, but also the near and distant future in order to really get a sense of the types of solutions we were going to put forth. So along with our steering committee and other stakeholders at large, the design lab invited UC San Diego faculty, researchers, students, staff, and neighbors to come to the Designathon to discuss and explore and ultimately design everything from technologies and services to systems, all meant to expand the connections between Pepper Canyon Station and the Mobility Hub and the rest of campus, all using the people-centered design approach. Hi, I'm Cicely. I'm a bioengineering major. I'm a pharmacological chemistry major. I'm an urban studies and planning major. Cognitive science major. Oh, I'm a mechanical engineer from LA. Santa Clarita. San Jose, California. Walnut Creek, California. Beijing, China. From China, India. Hong Kong. Austin, Texas. Chesapeake, Virginia. From San Diego. To see the students involved <laughs> and interested in contributing to what this campus is going to look like in the future when they're no longer here, it's actually really cool. Yeah. They want to work on projects with a lot of impact and meaning. And they want to work with others across disciplines and generations. Design is solving the right problem. What are the real needs of people? Let's solve the underlying needs of people and then let's be creative about doing that. What we asked our participants to do is, is take a step back and say, what is a mobility hub? What does that even mean? We're a very diverse community, so how can we make sure that everyone feels welcome when they arrive on campus and when they move through the campus? How can we make it safe and convenient to move through and around the campus? How can we be flexible and respond quickly to emerging technologies? How can we design safe and efficient intersections that reduce multimodal conflicts? And finally, how can we promote healthy transportation options? If you were to walk inside the tent right now, you would see lots of groups at tables or standing up uh, along the wall, looking at maps of the area, looking at uh, various uh, types of research that either they've obtained or they've gotten from our stakeholders and they're starting to make some decisions about patterns and um, opportunities, pain points that they're experiencing or that they are seeing emerge from the research. From there they get to start to define their, their actual problem. They as a team, who are they designing for, what do they need and why do they need it. In the States, we're so car-centric. Car I think one of the biggest problems is how do you take people's mindset and help them feel that there's a better solution for transit and a better solution for the sustainability of our society as a whole, I think. I think that's the biggest thing, is changing people's perception.
we're just iterating as many problems as we can. Like we're basically just building a gigantic list of all the things we can cover. Yeah, we've had some really good meetings with some of the groups. There's been everything from apps being developed to uh, solutions to solving congestion on campus through uh, infrastructure interventions. Uh, there's been wayfinding ideas going on. There was one group in particular I remember that were working on wayfinding and somehow we came up with uh, the idea together of using augmented reality and that was just a really neat idea that I hadn't thought about that I think you know is something we should continue to think about moving forward. Our project is the Conch and it is a social gateway to UCSD. Our project is a skate park that we want to call the Wavelength. We're thinking of making Stewart's Cafe, which is going to be a point of entry toward the rest of the campus. So Pepper Ride is just a, it's a ride share service as a Pepper Canyon Cali Station. Micro transit parking station with an interactive display. We've been hearing from people from near and far about what they've personally experienced and witnessed around the world with regard to what has worked and what hasn't worked in terms of experiments and programs in the mobility space. And uh, that's going to make some, for some very interesting insights and, uh, and solutions. The Geisel Station, as we call it, integrates both the train as well as our gondola system into one big floor. Um, there's also a directory that can lead you to food or building. A new digital assistant helps her navigate also newly optimized Campus Hub Core. Our main intended audience for this project was uh, first time visitors on campus. As a judge, it was really interesting that the criteria emphasized the process and the articulation of the idea more than the idea itself, because often it is more important um, in life to be able to articulate your idea than in the idea itself. The key things I was uh, really looking for, uh, did they really step back and take that first day uh, to think about human-centered design and to think about the, uh, the, f the first half of solving the right problem, which is what is the right problem? I really was looking for practical innovation. Um, I think a lot of times with tech, you don't know where the boundaries can be pushed. Visitors were really a new demographic that were going to be really prevalent in our community, and we wanted to cater to them. Those included parents of students, touring high schoolers. Uh, when someone uses the service, there's going to be a two-lane, uh, two-screen service. Uh, on one side, you have maps. On the other, you have information, uh, all student-based information. So if I were to place places to eat, you see a change both in the information and the map where you see uh, restaurants that come up on the screen, as well as, hey, Taco Villa, how about that? So I can tell it just to go to Medical Center and it'll go? Yes, it will pick the fastest route, no steering needed, just some speed control, up to five miles per hour. Take me to Mandeville Center. <laughs> <laughs> Our design is the, are the ants. Uh, as you can see, they're essentially an autonomous uh, system, as you can see by the mock-up there. In the survey, we found that 54.1 people never ate breakfast to the no time of making it or rushing it to their classroom. We found our solution by making a food app combined with self-driving pickup shuttles. Once the shuttle arrives, scan your QR code where boarding, retrieve your food from the locker, and proceed to the seat with tables and touchscreen panels where you can enjoy a meal or check your estimated time to your destination. With the brand new Pepper Canyon Station is an opportunity for placemaking. There are two kiosks, one at the trolley station and the other at Rupert's Lane syncs the music to light. Students can effectively immerse themselves in the art and music part of this campus. The conch is where you hear music and event announcements. You see student art and the liveliness of student organizations and you feel the true spirit of UCSD and its students. We won't be UC socially dead. Instead, you'll see what students care about what's going on, and what we have to offer. It was absolutely terrific. I was so glad to be able to attend. Um, so many students participating, so many community partners, and a really great focus and um, outcomes. We're going to continue to work with UCSD to find opportunities to implement these things because for the user it's one um, 
continuous experience. It's not the public transit portion and then the UCSD portion. It needs to be one continuous experience. I was most excited about the placemaking ideas. Students are very interested in establishing spaces to express themselves. Uh, we are currently planning an amphitheater uh, right next to the trolley station, which is literally a platform where students can do just that. So often in my business, we get really focused on the physicality of design and we miss elements of the experience. The user-centered design philosophy that the design lab champions and that got brought into the design-a-thon was really in the fore and the ideas the teams brought out because of that were exceptional. One example was uh, an idea about how events happened on campus and what somebody needed to know as they arrived on campus. Well, that's shaping the way we think about our informational signage and how we put out real-time information about what's going on on campus. First thing I thought when meeting the students was they were just incredibly innovative. Every idea was very forward-thinking, things that I didn't really start thinking about until I got into the mobility industry. These kids were already 10 steps ahead. They were thinking about the next iteration of how the campus should look and the way it's designed. And then when we were talking about micromobility, because as you know, Lime sponsored um, the free tours around campus, they saw the value of that last mile of transportation. So that was really cool to see. Not only were they aligning with design in general, but aligning with the way Lime saw campus. We truly can't capture the needs of everybody unless we bring everybody together. And a design-a-thon is a way to do that and have a great time. I look forward to seeing the, uh, the energy that I saw at the design-a-thon focused onto another cross-cutting problem very soon here on campus. I already want to do another one. I absolutely do. We're really excited about collaborating with the Design Lab to do more events just like this in the future. I'm looking forward to future design-a-thons and will participate every chance I get. Thank you to Sandag for everybody that helped, all the different mentors that were involved, um, campus planning that provided resources throughout, um, the students that helped put this event on, and most of all the Design Lab who put on just a flawlessly run event um, with so much attention to detail and was a great partner throughout the entire process. We had engagement from uh, the San Diego Metropolitan Transport Authority, Congressman Peters was there. The uh, excitement at the beginning of the event was palpable. I'm really grateful to Sandag for their vision and for helping to make the Design-a-Thon a reality, as well as to all the public agencies and elected officials who turned out to support our students and really help make an incredible learning experience. We're better as a university because of this and we're going to have a better result at Pepper Canyon. The investment from the Chancellor's Office and the Executive Vice Chancellor's Office into this particular initiative is case in point for the kinds of approaches and methods and tools that we embrace as, uh, as UC San Diego and certainly as the Design Lab. One place where design in particular could play a role is our housing crisis, our homelessness crisis in, uh, in California where there are a lot of different uh, stakeholders that come together to look at some important societal problems that a design-a-thon would be well suited to put forward some exciting new ideas. Design and design-a-thons need to be part of the broader transformation of the campus that the Chancellor likes to talk about, the intellectual, physical, and cultural transformations that will make us more of a destination. We're helping the Design Lab in particular, for example, move to the new Design and Innovation Building where there'll be even more scope for their work with quite a number of different academic divisions. We're preparing our students for the challenges that they're going to encounter out in the working world, having some knowledge of of design, design principles, and how those apply across many different areas. Helping the students have a chance to impact the further development of the physical landscape of the campus. So I think that this will be a really important element of what we're trying to do overall.